All right, this is Words, 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 May 2022. All right, let's just take a quick pause from Jackson in the editing room so I can talk about how normally when we do a Words, 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 the majority of the content is candid clips, maybe from surfing or snowboarding or doing whatever, and then scripted bits of us making fun of that candid content. But in this video, <laughs> we don't have any candid content. It's all ridiculous bits. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a bit of a warning, you could say. Let's jump right back in. All right, this is Words, 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 May 2022. Take one, action. Hello. Hola. Bonjour. Ciao. Allo. Salam. Only one Christmas card request? Welcome back to Words, Words, Words with Jackson and Kian. We haven't been filming as much recently, and that's because you should mind your damn business. He has COVID right now and is quarantining, but unfortunately, he's used all of his sick time for the year, so we wrote down all of his lines and gave them to him for him to read in private. Well, actually, I shuffled them all up right before I handed it to him just to fuck with them. You did what? You didn't even run this by- Ni hao. Some exciting news, we have gained our second random subscriber. Hot damn! As a thank you, we've prepared a musical number for our friend John Tolley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. John Tolley. We are setting a really high bar for these new subscribers, uh, but I can't wait to see what we do next. You, you never, uh... You never posted that video about how you're gonna send Christmas cards to everyone, right? You, we stopped. I think we filmed some of it, but I. You didn't post it, did you? Holy shit. I created an entire email for people to let me know if they wanted a Christmas card. Well, did you get any emails? I need to look. Just one person? <sighs> well, that's a load off my mind. Thank you, John Tully. Today I'm going to be telling a story about something that happened to me just about a week ago. And to help tell the story, I've recruited the help of Kian to play myself, and Pete will be playing both the roles of Jonah and Socks. I don't love COVID anymore. I'd like to make it clear that this is a true story, and also thank Jonah for providing me with the necessary content I needed to finish this video. It was Sunday, the air was crisp, and I had the wig on. This is a Ridiculous, by the way. Fine. I didn't have the wig on, but I did say something snappy like, Unique New York. Unique New York. Ah! I just finished walking back to my friend Jonah's house to retrieve my backpack. Are the birds too loud? A little loud right now. Yeah, to the ambiance. Okay. Thanks, Pete. Towards that bush. I said to him, Thank you for keeping my stuff safe, Jonah. You are a good friend. And with a firm yet tender slap on the ass, I was out the door. Before beginning the long journey back, I realized I was a bit thirsty, so I reached into my bag for my water bottle. However, I was instead greeted by 14 loose white socks. Socks. Is this a prank? Is what a prank? Why are there so many socks in my bag? I got them for you, as a gift. I don't want these, but I got them for you. Am I being pranked? No. So, now I'm the owner of seven pairs of ankle cut white gildan socks. What are you gonna do with those uh, socks there, Jack? No, I don't know. I don't have any idea. Yeah, but you can hear us all over the screen. You're doing the screen. Hold on. Ah! Ayy! Why is it spicy? Ayy! I can't do this. I don't know how to do it better than that. Thanks, Kian. Socks here, reporting live. Socks. Pete in the field here, recording live from my bedroom. You guys get sick time? <laughs> 